stream. So those of you who are watching later, I'll try and start talking, but uh, the announcement has gone out, so some people might join us here in a little bit, or they can join us now. I'll let some people kind of come on. Let me kind of, there's always some adjusting when I start these live streams. There's some nice glare here, everything else that we just want to avoid. Doing the purge. Yesterday was so busy with the Matchbox gathering, I was not there. I think I made that very clear during the live stream yesterday. Some people were like, yeah, we know. Um, just out of the gate, I have to thank uh, Ezra. Ezra is a collector who runs the MBX collector um, or the MBX gathering Instagram account. And I asked him since I couldn't be at the gathering to do the live stream. And I thought he did a great job. I think some people are like, oh, the quality of the picture and the sound was terrible. The quality of the picture and the sound was terrible there. Um, there was lighting and we were trying to get him to turn off the ballroom lights. It's very hard. Obviously the glare over the screen makes it very difficult. And um, the sound, the, they, they started it, they went to a new ballroom this year in the hotel. And I think it just, it wasn't conducive to streaming. If I'm there next year, I might play around with it a little bit to make sure that it's good. But I thought Ezra did a great job and I really do appreciate it. I This is the first time I'm on the other side of the, excuse me, on the other side of the stream where I can actually like pay a lot of attention to your comments. And man, some of you are so negative. Like I know and during the stream, I try and catch some of it, but I understand the picture wasn't perfect, but my opinion on here, and I, I apologize for getting on my soapbox again, but these people paid their tickets they get to watch it. They get to do it. And it's kind of cool that Matchbox and Jim at the gathering allows us to stream it because this is a treat for the people that pay for tickets, that travel there. I'm not trying to be all holier than thou on that, but I think it's really cool that we get to stream it. But man, some of you were just ugh, so negative. And it was just like, I don't know, man. I just don't like that vibe at all. I understand constructive criticism is fine if they're like, hey, adjust this, adjust that. We'll do that. But man. But also you were cool. I'm just excited about what uh, what's coming out. I just was a little surprised by that. Um, all right, let's get to it. We're at the H's now. We started with Honda. Remember, I'm I'm separating by new models. I'm creating all the new models 2009 and on. I'm putting separate. There's a couple other little sub collections like Falcon and stuff that I'll do. And then we're just gonna we're gonna see what else goes into the collection and what doesn't so let's get to it i need one more thing here it is a little box to put the cars in okay so honda is going to be pretty easy i think because i already can tell you right now now we'll take the we'll take these out here i'm gonna move back constant adjusting Oh, this is so risky to do because if it slips, all that stuff's going down. I just want you guys to be able to see everything. Okay, so new models, that's easy. This will go into the new model collection. The rest of it I'm collecting. The Prelude is just an easy one. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. I just love the casting so much. And so we'll just go ahead and add it. Let's do the, let's add the preludes to the new model collection. Easy enough. Can you ask why I'm doing this? Because I need space. Um, I don't, I can't keep everything. And I concern myself in two ways. One is, sorry here. What is good for sharing on YouTube and on the, you know, on Instagram and stuff. And then what is, what do I just want in my collection? I, ha I love having a loose Hot Wheels and Matchbox collection, but I constantly have to, sur have to purge it, and like kind of clean it up because I just don't, I don't have room to have everything. So, um, so I have to kind of decide what to, 
what to give up and what to uh, what to keep. Plus, I and I think I've said this before. Um, I hopefully have decades and decades ahead of me in life, but just accumulating to accumulate and leaving this, you know, one day I will head yonder, right? Exit this life. And I do not want to leave this stuff. I, we have a friend who, whose um, father collects trains and he passed away and they had a hell of a time getting rid of all the trains and they didn't make the money that they thought that the, that their father thought was, thought it was worth. And it made me say to myself, I do not want to leave this burden with my daughters. So I want to keep it as clean. So I'm going to, so the more I can get rid of, the better. And I'll just keep what uh, kind of streamline it. All right, Honda Civic. New model. New model, that's easy enough. Isn't it horrible that I'm like doing a live stream about Hot Wheels collecting and I'm talking about death? <laughs> it's terrible. I apologize. All right, we'll put those in here. That's easy. Now I'm tempted on this Civic. I'm really tempted. What and this is why I want your thoughts. This is in the cross section collection for Zamax. I've got that in the collection. I'm not. Oh boy, you know I just think maybe I just need to keep this collection because it's just it's another one that's just all the Civics are pretty, pretty cool to collect. I really do like the more stock style. So like this white one, like this is the Kmart exclusive. This one I could care less about, but if I have the whole collection, I'll keep it. Gretty, there's a super treasure hunt. So that's in the super treasure collection. I thought this one was nice and clean. This is from the Honda, what was it, a Civic collection? Um, this is the brand new one. And there's a Zamac to match that one. And I have that in the Zamac collection. What do you guys think? Should I save this one? I know I'll be keeping this one, this one, this one, and this one. I don't know about the rest. Aaron's asking you to sell this. Yeah, if I purge them, I'm going to sell them on whatnot. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm just going to take the clean ones. This is exactly why I purged. So this one goes into the collection. Kmart goes into the collection. Greddy's in the Super Treasure collection, so let's just put that one in there. The rest purged. So they'll hit whatnot soon, which will be actually soon. Could be next weekend. It might be the weekend after. It just depends. What'd you guys think of all the, how much? I don't know. I'll, pro I'll auction them off. Auction them off. Um, what'd you guys think of the new Matchbox models last night? I thought they were great. BMW CSL, the Celica. Really like the, um, the RS6 Avant. All right. Sorry, Aaron. I'm going to put them on whatnot. I have all kinds of people asking. So if you haven't signed up, you should definitely, there's a link in the uh, description to so sign up for whatnot. And when I do the streams, I'll, <clears throat> I'm sure I'll make sure everybody knows and you can definitely bid on them. Some I'll just put in the buy it now and stuff like that. But okay. This one I'm keeping for sure. It's, it's the first time it's moved to basic. I'm sure we're going to see it in basic again, but it started as a premium. So that one goes in the collection. It's the only one from that collection. So that's easy enough. Oh, look, we just finished. This one is done. So the F's, the Ford's into the H's. Um, we'll talk about pop race in another video, guys. Uh, let's see, I've got, a, I'll do a video on pop race soon, but not in this one. This is a collection video. All right, I thought I had 
empty case here somewhere. I do. So I'll put that here and let's continue on. All right, more new models. That one goes into the new model collection. This one goes in the new model collection. I'm curious to see where this goes. This, this deco is okay. There's also either a Dollar Tree, or I'm sorry, Dollar General or Best Buy or something, um, or even a Kroger exclusive coming out on this one. I've got to find out what it is. They sent, Mattel sent it to me. It's kind of a maroon color, but I haven't, uh, I don't know what store exclusive it's going to be. So I'll hold on to this one for now. Well, nah, I don't. I'm going to keep the new models. So, obviously. So they'll go into the new model collection right there and right there and then we'll purge that one i really like this as a tribute to rio and i'm just i'm happy to have the uh just the first editions all right and this one's easy too so first edition that one stays this was last year's. There's obviously a Super Treasure Hunt with that one. That's in the Super Treasure Hunt collection, but I'm keeping it. Red Edition, that's also in the Red Edition collection, but I'm keeping that one because that's just a great collection. Now, I don't think I'm going to keep all of them because there's that Neon Speeders one, and I just don't... I'm not real fond of it. So I think I'll keep the Civics, you know, the plain Civics as I've talked about before, right? So let's get this one. Um, starting this collection again. So, Civic. These both go into the cross-section collection, but I'm going to keep them both for now. All right. That's a side that's done. Let's move back up here. We'll continue with the Civics. Now we go into the more modern Civics. Let me be careful. Looks like some of these are trying to fall out. Okay. This is my only example of this casting, so I'm going to keep it. So that's an easy one. So, whoop. And then these aren't new models. They're consider considered just modified from the previous. It's such a good casting. But I only kept these first clean ones, so they'll go into the collection too. Here, let me move this over like that. So this one goes here. This black one is just so clean, so cool. So there they go into the Civic collection. These are also easy enough. First edition, first edition, first edition. Is this a first edition too? Um. I think they are. Are these both the first editions from uh, whatever year it was? I think they are. So I'm going to put both of them in the new models. Oh, and it means it's time for another shout out to Dayton Diecast. So here we go. We've got this case. You know, I have the um, Creative Options Thread Organizers. Let me move these over here. The Creative Options Thread Organizers that you can get at Hobby Lobby, you can get at Joanne, you can get on Amazon, just look up Creative Options Thread Organizer. That's how you find them. And they always have this spot here for oversized cars or threads or whatever. Dayton Diecast, let me find his sticker here, right there. Dayton Diecast, boy, sorry guys. There it is, DaytonDiecast.com. He, this is awesome. So you want to go to DaytonDieCast.com. There is a link in the in the um, description of the video. He has just dropped one, so I'll just grab another one. He's created these little inserts that are just brilliant. That you just slide in, they attach to the top and the bottom, and they create, and they fit perfectly with the case. In fact, they stick out just enough that they keep the case kind of secure too, the, the lid of the case. And it turns this into two, and it saves so much space or it allows me to put two cars in here and it just i mean it's just a lifesaver for me because i am able to add four cars per case and it adds up so quickly 
and I can see the effect on the collection already. Okay, more new models. So anyway, here it is again, DaytonDieCast.com. You definitely want to go there, and you can buy them in packs like 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. I can't remember all of them, but the, the numbers, but you can buy tons of them. He fabricates them by himself and sells them. It's awesome. All right, first edition, first edition. Love that color. This casting is so awesome. Um, so we'll add that, and then these will go into the collection, too. They're the the next year's cars, but they were... One of them was a Best Buy, right? Best Buy exclusive. So first edition, first edition. And then... Into the collection. One... And two. All right. Now we get to the S2000. This is the iconic Rio Asada casting for a million reasons. One is there's been a ton of tribute since he passed away using the S2000. There's the RLC. There's a ton of premium. These, I, these are only the basics that I have in here. Um, there are several variations. I'll walk through those. Um, and... This is also the first casting Rio did for Hot Wheels. He owned an S2000 and he wanted to do this modified S2000 for uh, Hot Wheels. This was even when he was still working for Matchbox. Then he came over and uh, started working for Hot Wheels. But he still did this casting when he was working for Matchbox. This is not going anywhere. This collection is close to me, close to my heart. It's like it, it represents my friendship with Rio. Um, Love this car. Love all the variations I have of it. There's some variations out there, like the Super Treasure Hunt stuff that I don't... That I want this loose collection. So this one's an easy... This is a no-brainer. All of this is going right into the collection. I can walk through these if you want me to. So let's see here. So there's the first edition. There was the recolor. Oh, sorry, here, guys. There's the recolor in red. This is one of my all-time favorites, was the recolor in silver with the gold rims. Let's add a Dayton die-cast insert. Let's see, let's get that, oops. This case is a little bent, so there we go. Snaps in nicely. All right, then it was just on and on was this the super as well i've got that in the super treasure and collection oh there's a variation on this one this one has the hot wheels on the windshield which was what walmart was doing back in the day recall <clears throat> recolor that was before they did evasive the zamax the red evasive cool classics 10 spoke um, and then let's, so now let's you know, just get a move to the next case because this one is empty. So we'll put this one aside. Another empty case. We are just moving. Virgin, Virgin, Virgin. Okay. 10 spoke variation of the 10 pack exclusive. Let's put that one right next to the other. The teen, I don't remember how you say it. this was a Kmart exclusive. Then all the Fast and Furious versions. Another Fast and Furious version. 10 spoke or uh, another nine pack exclusive nine pack variation. So that side is done. Another Fast and Furious. That was a Honda exclusive. This was a couple years ago. Two colors of that one. And then the tribute models that they did. So yellow, red, and if you notice, they match the three colors. They match 
the original colors of the S2000, yellow, red, and then the Zamac is the equivalent of the gray. I can kind of see them on the other side of the case here, see? Yellow, yellow, red, red, and then the gray and the Zamac. So those are the tribute models. That's Honda, that is done. I think there's, isn't there some Fast and Furious Hondas coming out in one of the Fast and Furious cases? Am I right on that one? Because I had heard, I had heard a rumor that they were thinking of retiring the S2000 as a tribute to Rio, but I don't think that's the case. Um, because I think there's some coming out in Fast and Furious, right? All right, Jag. First edition, that goes in the first edition. There's the recolor. That was a, was that GameStop or was that? I don't remember. But they go in. I love this casting. Boom. Boom. The rest, I'm actually going to keep. I think this is one of the best done castings. Except I'm not going to keep, well, let's see. I just want the plain ones, but maybe I'll just keep them all. Because they've been doing just these plain colors, and like the front grill is just so nice. Tail lights. I just think the car is super cool. Just a fan. Another Dayton insert. Silver, black, purple, orange. I'll keep all of those. I think there's a blue one in the fa and another Fast and Furious set as well. So let's turn this around. We're kind of moving today. We're going a little faster. It seems like. All right. Okay, so this is a first edition, right? This goes in, this one, there's the Super Treasure Hunt equal. So that one is in the, so we'll purge that one. Because I don't think I'm going to be collecting that. And this, this one, love the color on this one, but I think I don't have the, I need to get the first edition of that. I don't think this was the first edition. I think this was a later issue. So I might purge that one and just find the first editions. So let's do that. Let's, uh, let's get this all situated. There we go. I am checking out some of your comments here because I have just been plowing along. You guys are excited to get to the Lamborghinis here in a minute, aren't you? Okay, Koenigsegg. Uh, well, okay, we'll, we'll put those away in a second, but the Koenigs that goes into the first edition pile as well. In fact, all three of these, right? Koenigs egg. Oops. There's only one color of the first edition, wasn't there? Or was there another one? I think that's it. That's a first edition. That's a first edition. I'll be fine just with these two. I know there's the yellow version. Don't need that. I'm happy to have just those. We'll get to, we'll start with Lamborghini here in a second, but let's get the Kia. I just like that color on the Kia. I'd, I'd be tempted like the Jag to keep all the colors because I just like it, but I don't have any attachment to the Stinger and I can find those first editions. I probably have them put away somewhere in storage and I'll find them. Or if I got rid of them, then I'll find ways to <clears throat> reacquire them. All right, let's get to it. Lamborghini. So, oh, let's just start. Let's just start going for it. The easy ones are the first editions. I'm looking here at the comments. Was there an issue with the connection, or it says okay? Um. All right. So, Lamborghini, the pace car. This is easy. First edition, so it goes, it goes into the collection. First edition. 
I think now that we have the Countach uh, Premium and the RLC, the RLC casting is fantastic, and we have the Countach Premium uh, that we've seen in the Leno collection and then the Spitacolari. I don't need the rest of these. So this one's out. Purged. Purged. Treasure Hunt. Purged. This five-pack version, Purged. So they're going to get purged out. So let's just stop right there for a second and get these all situated and then we start talking about the other ones so first edition first edition i'd like to be purging more i, just feel like, I guess it was just because we were getting through honda right but let's bag these up while i'm doing that you guys can i can look diecast and alakuntosh th was the first one you found that's cool it's a good treasure hunt I'd be tempted to keep these police Lambos, but I am like they're well executed. I really I actually like them as police cars, but kind of a brilliant design with the window and the interior kind of meeting. But I'm happy to just have the two. All right. Okay, guys, I've been debating this one. This is the Gallardo. I've only kept the clean versions. I have speed machines. Um, so here's some... I have a wheel variation that I've kept for years. So here's this. Here's the first edition of the Gallardo. I think this goes back to 2009, 2010, so it stays. And then it was recolored in white, so this one stays. And then I have... You know what? Okay, so... Then there's these 10-pack versions. I don't need these. I think I have a good representation with the white and the black first edition. So I'm going to purge these. But what to do with this one? This is a rare variation. I, it might be fun to... Is it matte black? Yes, these are matte black. And this 10-spoke, I actually opened. It was, uh, it was a variation that I wanted to have open because I thought it looked cool with the 10-spoke. Um, but I get the sense this might be something that someone wants more than I want it. So I think I'm going to give it up. I think I'm going to give it up. And notice how they did. I mean, this is, it's interesting too. There's more of a satin black and then a matte black. Boy, I don't know. You know what? No. Someone's going to want it. Let's let people battle for it. On whatnot. I it's cool, but I'm not attached to it. So away it goes. And we'll just keep the two. It's one of the debates, that's one of the questions I have to ask. Would someone else enjoy it more than me? And the answer is yes. I like having a I like my feeling on Lamborghinis is I like having a variety of castings, but I don't like having a ton of castings. And we'll see this. Like this will be a this will be a legitimate purge. Um, getting rid of these Lamborghinis. All right, there they go. There they go. And then first editions. Let's add those. Black goes right there. And we'll go to the other side. Or white right there making progress and we've got another empty case that's two yay <laughs> that sounds so goofy but oh I get so excited all right let's keep going let's keep going oh, I love purging I love getting rid of stuff. Here, I pulled these. Oops, almost lost one. All right. This goes here. Nope, wrong one. Okay.
So you can see with the, this is the Gallardo Super Ligar, Super Ligera, right? Um, that was the first edition. Was this a recolor? The yellow? I think it was. This is a really nice one. Here's the here's the temptation on this one because he, these are the two colors. There was done one done in premium for Fast and Furious of this casting. But I really like this white one. So I think I'm going to keep that one too. All of these are in standard deco too. What do you guys think? There they are. These are the first editions right here, right? Am I correct on that? It's the green and the yellow. If someone wants to look that up. Then the white is really cool. I got two oranges. Sorry. The white was new model too. Are we positive about that, Jared? <laughs> Kidding advice on opening bags. I'm fine. But um, and the blue is cool too. All right, so these are the three. Are these the new models here, Jared? Is that true? Okay. Well, that makes it easy, right? So there were three first editions. Give me a confirmation of that. Okay, good. Green. That makes it really easy then. Yellow and white. The others can go. That makes it super easy. That's great news. Okay. See you later, orange. Orange. Super easy, super legera. All right, out they go. Okay. First edition. I think there were two colors of this first edition. There was white and there was gray. Correct? Give me the give me a thumbs up on that. And then so I don't need the green. Don't need the black. Don't need the yellow. I'm just happy with the first editions on those. It's really cool casting, actually. I think white was actually before gray, and then they did the gray is the need for speed. I feel like it was first, the white was. Oh, I th it's green and black. I actually think this is the best looking one. Honestly, I think that was one of the coolest releases. Oh, why didn't I put those in the bags? Screwed up, screwed up, screwed up. First edition, first edition, first edition. Let me put those away. Yusuf hates them all. I like the white and the gray. I'm good with those two. Let's bag up the rest. Oh, dropped it. But we're carpeted, survived. Which one's the Lambo set furiously collecting? Was it the black one or the green one? Oh yeah, there's the Super Treasure Hunt too. I forgot about that. I, that'll be in my, that's in the Super Treasure Hunt collection. So we're good there. You guys have opinions. I think the Lamborghinis are going to, I think there's a lot of people that will want these. So that's cool. All right. 
This is easy enough. First edition. It was the only one they did as a first edition, right? It was the only color. They didn't do a second color of that one. So that goes into the first edition collection. It was great casting as well. I remember I did an article on how well executed that casting was, and I compared it to a Kyosho. First edition. First edition. We'll even just go to the Liberty Walk. That's that first edition. Mad Mike, right? Liberty Walk. So let's just get those. Super Trofeo underrated. Agree. Agree. I think it's one of the best Lambo castings they've done. So there's the Liberty Walk. All right. So this is last year's version. I'm going to get rid of them. It's actually really a nice. These are both really nice, but I don't need them. That was a Kroger exclusive, right? Remember someone found one at Walmart, and I think like they just went crazy. If people wanted a billion dollars for them, and they didn't need to because they were hitting Kroger's. All right. Into the purge pile they go. Okay, this is a first edition. I don't remember. If someone want to look up, this is the Reventon. Reventon? Reventon? Someone want to find out what year this hardtop was. And then here is the Roadster, which is also first edition. So both of those are first editions. So they'll go, oh, we need another date and die cast. Insert. Oops. Perfect. All right. Right there. Right there. Okay. I'm keeping that. And I'm keeping this one. That's the five. Eh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I have the Speed Machines version of this. I don't know. Maybe I'm not going to keep this one either. No, I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one. This was, this kind of took on a life of its own. It's super valuable Speed Machines, this casting now. But, um,. but they'll just go into the collection. I'll keep them both. That's the second release. This is the third release. And there's like 10 years between them. I'll keep them. But I'm kind of happy just to have the first edition. This one's going to go. That was from the police set, but I need to get the first edition, which was in orange. we got to find it. Used to have it. But this one I'm fine getting rid of. Okay, let's move on. We're almost done with Lamborghini. And we have time to move to Land Rover. All right. I believe this is a first edition. Am I correct? I think it is, so I'm going to keep that. I know this is a first edition, so I'm going to keep that. And this is a first edition, so I'm going to keep that. This is not a first edition, right? The first edition was actually orange, no, yellow. Or were there two colors of the first edition? I don't know, but I know white isn't. I like white. But it's not the first edition, so I'm actually going to purge it and just find the first edition. The Aventador J, I don't have. Oop, I'm going to keep forgetting to. So. There's the Veneno, and this this one. I think this is the first edition. There might the Zamek might be first edition too. Here, push this back a little bit. Ooh, look at that! They're gonna fall. They're gonna fall. Okay, done. 
All right. Let's get the Euros or Euros, Euros, Euros purged, and we'll find the first edition later. All right. This is easy. First edition, first edition, first edition, first edition. Um, those are all from the, uh, one was a Kroger exclusive, the red one, right? But then this casting goes premium this year. So I'll just probably just start collecting those. It's a great casting, but I'm fine with just those three. So I'll purge that one. It's a nice looking one, but it's going to go. This is the first edition, isn't it? I believe so. Of the uh, Land Rover Defender. So is this one. I know there's a Zamac. I've got that in the Zamac collection. This is a first edition. Oops. Pickup. Porus got to use the credit at Whatnot. That's awesome. Yeah, if you guys sign up for Whatnot, you get a credit when I do these. If you haven't used it already, you have a $15 credit. If you use the link in the description below and you can use that to buy some of this stuff if you want. All right, these both go into the first editions. I'm glad that worked for you, Porus. Hope I'm saying your name right. Right there. Right there. We are almost done with the next new edition case. All right. Tell me how many first editions of this one. Actually, I'm just going to keep them all. It's just all great. They're all great. I just like them. Actually, no, I don't care, actually. <laughs> um, Silver, was this a recolor? I think this, was this a Kroger exclusive? And it wasn't in a first edition as well? I believe it was. Black is nice too, and the red is nice. What's happened to this casting? I actually like it. Someone want to look that up and tell me if the white and the black are, well, silver will definitely go into the new model collection. Allie, what do I know when the RLC McLaren is coming out? I don't know. Silver and white were new, thanks Jared. Jared, you're on it today. I think I'm good with just those two. We're productive today, guys. Productive. I almost didn't do this just because I was so busy with Matchbox stuff, even from home. But I'm glad we've done it. We're making progress and we can start selling them. Okay, this is easy. That's a first edition. Isn't that a great casting? A great deco on that. Dima did that. And this is also, isn't there a, but there's a store exclusive of this one. So I need to, of the first edition. So I'm going to need to find that. But right now I don't have it. So these go, oh, we're done with this first edition case. So that, give me a second here, guys. And we'll start a new case. All right. One, two. And while we are here, that's a first edition. I'm fine with just the one. This is a first edition. I'm fine with just the one. And there's also the super treasure hunt, right? The lucid, okay. Talk about the Lucid. I really like this casting. Same thing, kind of like a few of these that this is this year's. Is one of these a first edition? Which one's the, is any of these two the first? If not, I'll just, I know I have them somewhere because I had them from last year for the Lamley Awards and they're somewhere. But are these first editions? When I say first edition, Rob, I mean the first year they were issued. New models. 
first edition, they don't use the term first edition anymore. I'm kind of borrowing off of it. So these are from this year. So I'm I'm going to, you know, I'm for now I'm going to keep them. I like this car. I'll put it in the collection for now. I'm kind of curious where this casting goes. All right, these go into the collection too, both of these. They're not first editions because I'm only collecting first editions from 2009 on, and these are both well before that, but I like having these two Maseratis. Hot Wheels doesn't have a deal with Maserati anymore, so that's easy enough. And we have another empty case. All right, where are we at? We got 15 minutes. Keep going. That was Maserati. Okay. How about Mazda? All right. Look at this mess. All right. Just getting my bearings here. Let's start with the Miata. We'll get this one out of here that I just kind of threw in there. That's out. So here are the first editions. This one, this one, and the green was GameStop or something. So those stay. These go. I already have another one of these white ones. This is a red edition. And uh, so that's going. So I already have one in the red edition collection. So let's add the first editions right now. Oop. I actually just there. Purged all my extra Mazdas last week. <laughs> hey, some of you guys are doing the purging too. I've gotten comments from some of you. Okay, so those I'm going to hold out. These I'm not going to keep either. I have the premiums and I'm happy with those. So even though a couple of these have the JDM Legends logo on them, I'm just going to let these go because I'm happy with the premiums. Can someone tell me what year this was a new model? Jared, you seem to know. The Fury, a Fury, Mazda Fury, is it Fury? I can't remember. All right, 2010. All right, so that goes into the new model collection. Done. Okay. Now we're back to another debate. What year was this a new model? JVR, what? What's the question? Is there a question? Let's see. Um... Anybody remember what year this was? I don't know if it says on the bottom. 2011. So this one goes into the new model collection. JDM Legends did one. I have a variation of this one, and I've kept it, and I've just... I don't know if I need to keep it. In fact, you know what? I will let the non-NGK go and keep the NGK. I don't need to have the variation. So that one's going to go. So the first edition, so black, blue... And the speed, what was it? This was called like speed something. It was the Kroger foil pack exclusive, but it's also first edition. Those stay. I'm debating. I'm, I'm not attached to the RX-7. It's gone. It's gone. So I'm going to keep the three. Let's, uh, let's get these. I'm going to keep the new models. I'll be happy. Okay, we need a Dayton die cast. Oops. 
bold move getting rid of the RX-7s. There's the Dayton die cast and here they go. One, two, oh wait, this goes here. Oop, I didn't get this right. There we go. Done. First edition's done. All right. So let's do some, let's bag some of these up. We'll get here and I'll get to, yeah, this is a huge, let's get rid of the Miatas. We got a, quite a few to go through here. We're gonna make a lot of space. Why am I purging them? You guys want to say? I need space. And I think people will enjoy, some people will enjoy these models more than I will. This is a regular treasure hunt here. RX-3's out. Kroger exclusive I just bagged up. Simon from Greece. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. And you guys can obviously watch these. This will be a good one. That's That will be fun because that's a rare very variation. Okay, those are out. Okay. Some more bags here real quick. Croatia's here. Thoughts on bagging the models before sorting them in jammers like I do? Um, I have found that the plastic in the jammer is soft enough that I've never had an issue with the cars. I There might be one or two that I might be a little more careful with, but... I've never had issues with these, and I don't, you know, they usually stay, you know, they're just sitting on the shelf, so unless there's an earthquake, I, knock on wood, we get them here. Um, I I just think that the plastic's soft enough. Soft enough. Um, someone asked about the dividers. Yes, the dividers are done by Dayton Diecast. Maybe I'll give you another... Another shout out, DaytonDieCast.com. That's where you get them. Highly, highly recommend buying those. If you have these cases, those dividers, you get four additional cars per case by just putting those dividers in there. That is such a lifesaver. So, guys, I'm bagging up. There's some stork. I think this was a Kmart exclusive. I think that's a Kmart exclusive. There's a, there's a regular treasure hunt. We're bagging up quite a few here. This is a good collection of cars. Have I regretted purging a car? Oh, yeah, of course, all the time. <laughs> There's even some I've had second thoughts of now, and but I have to tell myself, like, no. You got there, you decided you were going to do it. And it does, it just... I try not to think about it too much. Okay. So there's that group. They're out of here. Can I show the pile of all the purge cars? Well, a lot of the purge cars have been put aside. So I'll um, I'll bring those out maybe next weekend when I do some more purging. All right, let's turn this around. Yeah, I'll you know I'll post a picture of all of them. Okay, let me go up here. We're gonna purge all the rest of these up through here, right? RX sevens. Hey Rico, Rico, I don't know how to say Rico Bob Rico Bobby. So I'll tell you guys, so we're let's see, we've got five minutes left. We'll um we'll finish with the Mazdas. Um at least the ones I've got here. 
That so this one is in the Super Treasure Hunt collection, right? Because there's the Super, and I always have the equivalent. Um, you're also not a fan of the. Oh, I'm a fan of all these. I just, I just like my collection is like limited. Is I don't need all of these to represent the. Like I have the first edition, so these these are just cars that I just know will someone else will enjoy. I don't need to have all of them. I feel like I have a good representation of the casting by having the first editions. All right, but this one I'm keeping all those. They're all clean. I just like them. So first edition was the only the red one, right? So that's easy enough. So in that goes right there. I want to say in the gray, the gray was a recolor. I don't think it was. I think it was just the orange and the purple. All right, of the of the jag. Oh, the gray. I see what you're saying. You're right. You are right. I purged the gray. Let me pull that out. You're talking about the F type. Um, I know exactly which one. Thank you for the reminder. Let me find it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Digging it out here. Give me a second here. Here. You guys can see the that video's coming up. I've already filmed that. I gotta find that. But I don't want to damage these cars, so do it now I'm gonna forget hey Dayton diecast I've had a few inquiries about your dividers today and I'm just digging away digging away did I not perch that what I did Ah, I'll have to look later. Got all these Lamborghinis. I'll have to find it later. All right. So these are going into the collection. One. That was a five pack. No, that was a basic. This was yellow one was a five pack. And then this was the basic. Those are so cool. So clean. All right. Okay, what about... Now, I can tell you this. 95 Mazda RX-7. That's a first edition, so that stays. This is a first edition. This stays. The rest... Falcon can go into the Falcon collection. This can be in the, I can keep that one because I like, I think it's the same thing. I just like the plain ones. The Zamac goes in the Zamac collection. And then we've seen it go into premium and I'm pretty happy. I think I'm going to purge all of those. Yeah. Okay. So but it's kind of cool. Though. Okay. Let's, let's do this. First editions. It's easy enough. Put. That one right there, that blue one is so cool. The, the Kmart is also a favorite of mine. Um, so they go in there. The collection, in fact, kind of perfect timing. 
because, yeah, the black was Super Treasure Hunt, but I'm going to keep that one just for the plain color. Actually, you know what? I've got it in the Super Collection, so I can purge it. Um, so we'll just leave that. We've got two new additions to the Falcon Collection, so that's cool. So, one, and I'm doing the recolors on the Falcons, not on the Gulf. They go into that collection. Very excited for that. And then the rest we're going to purge. But I am going to keep the black as part of the regular collection because I just like it. Even different from the Super Treasure Hunt collection. And we'll bag up the rest of these. All right. Purged. I'm not going to keep the orange. In fact, I think the orange is the ugliest one, in my opinion. But we all have things we like and we have things we don't. Oops. Mad Mike. The Mad Mike version is pretty cool. Zamac, I hope someone will enjoy getting that one. It's already in the Zamac collection, so I don't need that. There's the HKS Fast and Furious version, which we now have a premium version of, so I don't need that. And this is nice from the, uh, that, what was that, the pack, right? That multi-pack, but... Don't need it. Wow, guys, look at look at how well this timed out. So finish that off. I also filled up this case. That one's filled of the regular collection, so that goes back on the shelf. We've emptied out this case. And I ran out of bags. <laughs> so all right, so I think, where are we at? Where do we go next? That was Mazda. Oh yeah, we're not totally done with Mazda. We'll continue, we'll continue that and get into McLaren and good old Mercedes. We'll see what happens there. That'll be next week. Um, so let's move those back. What's coming up this week on the channel? Oh, we got all kinds of good stuff. This. Um, M case, got that, um, Boulevard, you can see right here, some of the cars I've already, um, the Canyon Warriors Boulevard, I've got M case, I've got, if I get to it, I've got Fast and Furious premium, I've got Race Day premium, I have a little concept I'm going to take on that one, which will be kind of fun. Uh, maybe some Matchbox previews. I don't know yet um, after yesterday, but maybe we'll do that. And then, yeah, more and more stuff. Just tons and tons of stuff. I got a few more things coming. I've got a mini GT I want to do. I want to get into Pop Race. I want to get into Tarmac Works. Uh, a few other things. So, all right. This was good. I'm glad we, we, we were productive today for sure. So um, I appreciate you guys you joining me. We'll be back on the live streams next weekend, I think. And then uh, tons and tons of stuff coming up. Oh, and I'm going to do a sneak peeks. I've, oh, Mattel told me they're sending me some 2024 sneak peeks. And I'll be doing some store exclusive showcases as well. So we'll get to all of that. Thank you, everybody. Bye.